Today we're going to use headphones as a microphone. If you like these kinds of how-to videos and just little science projects like this, make sure to click subscribe and click the little bell if you want to be notified for more videos. Now something is really interesting between speakers and microphones and it's that the geometry is almost exactly identical. So a speaker has a little diaphragm like this so it can push a sound wave but in order to get the the vibrations to move that diaphragm it has a magnet and it has a coil that moves inside that magnet and the way that that moves is from an electric impulse so a micro microphone is actually the exact opposite of that so if you consider this like a microphone as i would talk into this the vibrations from the sound waves coming out of my mouth would slightly slightly vibrate this little cone here and that cone would vibrate the little copper coil in here that is inside this magnet. And when you move a copper coil within a magnet, you create a super, super small electrical current. So that current will flow down the, the little headphone or the little wire here and into the recording device and you've got audio. Now from a microphone end, usually it's a really, really, really tiny, tiny bit of power coming out of it. So you have to amplify it with a preamp. So I've got a little recorder here. I'm talking into a lapel mic and it's amplifying that signal so that I so that you can hear me good. But what we're going to do here is because the geometry of a microphone and speakers are almost identical, what we can do is plug these headphones into here and I can speak into them. And to you, it'll sound like I'm talking into a microphone because I kind of am. And what makes things a little bit more convenient is this uses a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, just like my headphones. So I can plug it into the recorder. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn up the gain. So with this microphone here, it's optimized to be used as a microphone. So I can run this at about 50% gain. And what's beautiful about that is you won't really hear any of the surrounding sounds. You'll only hear my voice because it's nice and close and it should hopefully sound pretty nice. So just give me a second here, I'll unplug this and then we'll switch over to using the headphones and I'll turn my gain up to about 100% just to try to make sure you can hear nice and good. So now we've switched over to the headphones as a microphone and it's probably not going to be quite as high of quality sound but what's amazing is you will hear my voice here and you'll, I'm sure you'll be able to hear what I'm saying and it's a stereo mic because you've of course got your left speaker and your right speaker so if I talk into the left ear here you should hear it in the left so if I talk into there or if I talk into here you should hear it in your own headphones back and forth. So let me go ahead and now I'll just switch back to the, the you know, optimized lapel mic so you can hear me great for the rest of this video. So we've got our recorder set back down to 50% gain again so, you, so I don't really blow out this microphone. But this is a really cool little trick. It's something that you could use at a science fair or if you want to learn more about electronics, you can kind of think through this and it actually kind of makes a lot of sense. One thing to note though is I'm not using anything too fancy. These are um, Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros and they're not noise cancelling. Now a noise cancelling headphone would send that signal through a chip and it really wouldn't work well for this application. This is just a simple a speaker and a wire so there's nothing impeding that little electrical signal between the what I'm calling a microphone inside here and my recording device. Thanks for watching.